the decision that you took of following God, you must take it forever. Well, don't be afraid. I'm not here to, to expose people. I'm here to bring a solution in your life. Huh? Do you know anyone of Matebula? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Matebula. Matebula. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want to pray for you so that you know you must not go back where you're coming from. Huh? Huh? Yes. Talk, Ceci. Or do you want me to speak more? It's God who saved you. Are you hearing me? Yes. So now the very same God want to make you an example. Because I'm seeing a marriage that when this marriage comes, everyone in your family will be surprised. You know where you're coming from, right? Yes. You know you used to... Yes. Huh? Yes. You're blessed. And, and let me tell you, you'll wait. At the right time, I'm seeing a way to be that everyone in your family will admire your God. Ma'am, can you please introduce yourself to us and also confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not? Uh, my name is Natlanta Mutawela. Yeah, what the prophet said is true. Why are you saying it's true? <laughs> because, like, he talked about my stepfather, which is at my table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're drinking, um, my drinking past. I was drinking. And as the man of God has spoken unto you, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm relieved. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that you are free in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me tell you something. You are on on a, on the edge. Yes, oh, you hear me? Yes. You are on the edge where after you 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 move from this edge, yes. no one will catch you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Because I saw, I don't know, I saw a bus. Huh? Yes. I saw a bus. It's like this bus sometimes is bringing people to church. Yes, every Sunday huh? there are transport that is. And I'm going. seeing it's like yellow. Yes, yes, huh? yes, yes, yes. I'm yellow, seeing a yellow red. bus. Yeah. And I'm seeing a very ugly bus. So, but I want to tell you that whoever, because what they've done with the issue of your car. Yes. These same people now. They are planning to do something on this bus. Oh. So, anyone that will stand against this ministry, I'm seeing a tent that is blue and white. And I'm seeing, on top of this tent, I'm seeing it's written Tokozani. Huh? We used to rent. We used to rent that tent. Huh? We used to rent you it. You used to rent it? Yes. So, I want to pray for you. Mm that whoever that will do anything this time. Pick him up. So can you please introduce yourself to us and also confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not? Yes, my name is Prophet Akabe. I'm coming from Swaziland. And the prophecy that the man of God is true. Yes, there is a bus that uh, bring people every Sunday from Manzini to Spofanen. And there's a tent I used to rent. It was blue and white. So everything he said is true. And this, as he declared that there are certain people that have to die because they're tormenting the real servants of God. Are you aware of people or 
those people who are tormenting you or troubling you? Yes, I'm aware. I know there is a great opposition, but with the grace of God, I prevail. And today, judgment has been decreed. I, I know that God is up to something. And he also prayed for you. When he was praying for you at that particular moment, because he was holding your waist, how did you feel? I feel power like electricity entering me. And I want to believe I have received the impartation. Amen. As a prophet of God, I believe it took you obedience, humbleness, uh, to come here and attend a service with us. And I believe that there are many ministers of God out there, as they can hear from God, see whatever that God is showing them, they don't believe that they need to go to another prophet or another man of God to hear what God has to say about their lives. What can you say to them as today God has shown you his power through the prophet in Jesus' name? Yes, uh, I think as a man of God, we need to realize that no one is having all the gifts. Some of the gifts are with someone else, so you need to humble yourself and go to that person and God will lift you up like, like as I'm lifted today. Amen. We need to pray for you. There's a spirit of the family that we need to cancel. You must pray against uh, sugar diabetes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you hear me? And high blood. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Because your health sometimes is like deteriorating. Huh? Yes, ma'am. And in the night, you are getting attacks. Yes, you get attacks. That's true, man. As if people are feeding you. Huh? That's true. So I believe today is marking the beginning of your life. Out. Because these people are trying to inject you, inject you with these diseases. Are you hearing me? Yes, madam. Because well, sometimes you feel very weak. Yes, it's true. And you don't know what is happening. It's a spiritual issue. Yes, madam. You are healed. Sir, can you please introduce yourself to us? And also um, confirm the prophecy that you received from the man of God today, whether to be true or not. My, my name is William from Alexander. Yes, the man of God. The thing which he spoke about me is true because sometimes when I'm sleeping or waking, I feel tired. I even use some energy drink, so I don't know what's going on. With my life. How is it affecting you? It affects me because I also went to the doctor. The doctor told me I've got uh, sugar diabetes. And were you taking any medication for this sugar diabetes? Yes, I take some tablets. And today, by the grace of God, the prophet spoke to you. How did you feel when the man of God was speaking to you? I'm very happy because I know everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, I'm happy. We believe that as the prophet has prayed for you, you are free in Jesus' name. I'm healed. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. We need to pray for you because of the family. Yes. I'm seeing a division. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm seeing a division and I'm seeing a spirit of death. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing a spirit. Where is your wife? Yeah, she, she's, she, she died last year. Huh? She died last year. That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing a spirit of death. Yeah. So now the same spirit now is coming after you now. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes. So come here, let me pray for you. No one will kill you. Say amen. amen. Brother, you stand up. I want to pray for you. Uh, God has forgiven you. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. God has forgiven you because there's a life that you're living. Huh? Yes. There's a life that you're living that was very wrong. Yes. And I'm seeing police. About money. Huh? About money yes, for I'm my family. Yes, I'm seeing police. Yes. Huh? Yeah. I'm seeing police that were after you. Huh? Yes. There are things that you used to do that were not good. Yes. So now today God has forgiven you. You need to be more serious with your Christianity. Yes, yes. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, you I need agree. to be more with your Christianity. I saw a spirit that has been making you to steal. Huh? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, I will. So, you people, God has forgiven you, and I believe 
today, from today, you must be a Christian and a serious Christian. Yes. Otherwise, I'm seeing you in jail. Yes. You're blessed. Amen. Sir, can you please tell us your name? Tell us where you come from. And also, confirm the prophecy that the man of God has given to you today, whether to be true or not. My name is Life Mahindi. I came from Bush Park Ridge, Mpumalanga. Confirm the prophecy that you received. Is it true? Yes, that is true. Why are you saying it's true? Because I want a month for my family. I don't get it. So I make, make, a, make a plan. And how is it affecting you, the fact that you want to support your family and you don't have money to give to them? Yeah, because, I'm, you? because I'm the first one at home. Yeah, and at home you will look after me. And what were you trying to do in order for you to have money? I was about the bank that is that church said Illuminati. Uh, give them a money, but nothing happened. You, you were? You were giving the papers? The money in uh, the papers. Oh. Uh, he spent 3,000 something, but nothing happened. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, let's go deeper into what happened. You were, you were joining the Illuminati? John, because uh, they promised me a money. But I, 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 I see what the, it's not good. I leave it again. But the money I gave, I gave them. Oh, they, what did they say to you? Did they say you must bring money? What will happen if you give them money? But the boy nige mali, lono wan nige mali ya, mali nta kumi mali, kumi ni ya utumza ni kwabs. Di chuzi mali ndi ilawak. Sema chuzi five million umari still akunene sana intleg. My brother said that uh, this issue of him having money has affected him so much that he once joined Illuminati and he gave them three thousand. Three thousand five. 3,500 and they told him that you have to give us this money and we will you will choose which money you want after giving them that money and since well he gave them that money nothing has been happening to his life and were you dreaming them what was really happening to you when i dreaming uh, my brother is telling us that ever since that day, he has been dreaming money when he sleeps, but when he wakes up, he doesn't see any money. And uh, did you try to go to, to church? What is really? Since last year, we next week, next week, next week. Right. My brother is saying that um, ever since he has been postponing to come to church, but today, by the grace of God, he has come. And when the man of God spoke to you, how did you feel? Okay, let's go back to the issue of you joining the Illuminati. How did you come to know about them? Did they call you? Did you dream them? Did you meet somebody? Or you saw them on Facebook? What, how did you come to meet them? I was on Facebook. 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 My brother is saying that this thing of Illuminati, he saw it on Facebook. He tried to contact them and they were talking through a phone. And uh, he gave them the money that they wanted, but they you never received any money. And did you see the person that you spoke to or you deposited the money with the account? I deposited a pep. You forget pep. I don't know if you have my brother is saying that uh, he never met these people. They only communicated through a phone. And one day they gave him an offer to say that we must go to church where we church, where they church, so that they can you can go with them. But your spirit was denying. His spirit was denying to go to church. So he decided to come here. How are you feeling right now after the prayer? I imagine I'm going to sing right. Because 
We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that as the man of God has spoken unto your life, you are free and we believe that you are restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, you me? There's a... Amen. I'm seeing, there's a lady called Ali... 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 What is this? Alizwa. Alizwa. Yes. Huh? Yes, man of God. There's a lady called Alizwa. Yes, yes, huh? man of God. Yes. And I saw a place, it's like sometimes you put her to... Huh? It's like she's preached, I don't know. Yes, huh? yes, sometimes it's interceding in the it's church. It's like she's, she's doing something people. there. Yes, man. Huh? Yes, man. And I God. saw a, a church. Yes. And now this church, I'm just seeing a shack. Yes, there's a shack. My church huh? is a shack. I'm seeing a shack, but yes. I'm hearing that very soon you will extend this shack. Are you yes. hearing me? Amen. Amen. Very Amen. soon you will extend Amen. it. I receive. I receive. Hallelujah. Amen. And I saw someone who's sick here also. So you are healed. Stand up. You are healed. So I want to pray for you. Are you hearing me? I want to pray for you. And I believe. Amen. No, but I'm also hearing no good. What is no good to? I'm hearing so many names. Yes. So, but I, I, I have my team here. Huh? I brought my team. Also, Alizwa is here. Who is she? Oh. Alizwa. You must keep this lady close. Amen. Amen. Oh, she's also praying for you. Huh? Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Thank she's you. having challenges. Yes. Yes. I know true. what is happening in your life. Yes. So, but don't worry. Amen. All those things they will be over very soon. Amen. And Amen. now the spirits that are trying to attack her now. Yes, it's oh, you true. Me? My yeah, sister, yes. I'm seeing funny dreams. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing attacks. It's like there are people that are trying to visit you. Huh? Where's your husband? Come, sir. You need to, to pray for your marriage. Because I'm hearing an attack here. Oh, you hear me? So, but don't worry. God will fight for you. God will fight for you. Amen. Come out! Come out! 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 out. Jesus my name. Live it. Live it. In Jesus name. But you must you must love your wife. Huh? Oh, you hear me? You'll make it. Not. You, you, you people you must be serious Amen. in the church. Amen. Huh? Amen. Oh, you know I mean? Amen. Amen. You must be serious. Because both of you, when you sleep, they also try to feed you. Amen. It's true. It's true. Oh, you know I me? Mean? Amen. Last Sometimes night. You, huh? Even last night. You feel scramps here in your stomach yeah. here. Amen. I'm praying. Huh? I Sometimes there. it's coming like a pain. I mean, it's true. So Stop. now, this, you people you are fighting, this is a demon of, it's like this man is fighting your demons. Amen. And you people must be serious. Sir, so can you please tell us your name? Tell us where you come from. And also, confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not. 
Yes. Yes, my name is Pastor Tulane from Cape Town in Trifondain. So I have received a prophecy today by the grace of God from Prophet Andrews. So he said to me, seeing there's a lady in my church that called Alizwa. So it's true. So I confirmed the prophecy is true. So Alizwa also is here. And he said he's seeing her praying in the church, in the, in the, is the intercessor in the church. Is the one who do prayers always before I enter in the church. And she always prays, for, praying for me. Okay. Yes, I confirm the prophecy, that is true. And also he said he, he saw a, a shark. So where we worship, our place of worship is the, is the shark, is the big shark. But he said, uh, so we are planning to extend that shark. So I confirm the prophecy, that is true. How are you feeling? Um, I'm happy, I'm excited. Amen. Amen. I do. They prophesied to your wife. Confirm the prophecy whether to be true or not. Yes, ma'am, that is true. Why are you saying it's true? Yes, because I know that. Yes. That. And how are you feeling when the man of God located your wife? Yes, I'm feeling very good. I'm very good, very good. Yes. So thank you, God, for locating me today. Thank you. As God has located your ministry as a whole, words of encouragement that you can give to the ministers of God out there, as I believe that God has done it for you today in Jesus' name. Amen. I will advise the, the men of God, the pastors, the prophets, uh, if you are facing some challenges in your ministry, I will advise you to come in charis. So I was here on 2018. I have seen a big change in my ministry. I was here on one on one. Also on February, I have seen a lot of cha changes in my ministry. So I will advise you, men of God, come in charis. Your life will never be the same again. You will be healed. You will be delivered. You will prosper in charis. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that you are blessed. You are free. You are delivered. And you are coming back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.